Okay, here we will talk about the principal axis theorem. So the principal axis theorem says that um, uh, basically it says that you can represent an ellipse or a hyperbola using matrices. Um, and then um, um, for an ellipse, at least, the, uh, the axis length will be given by 1 over the square root of lambda, where lambda is the eigen, are the eigenvalues of the matrices uh, that you use for the ellipse. Okay? And the real direction of this axis will be given by um, 1 over square root of lambda times the associated eigenvector divided by its length. Okay? So we uh, we we need a unit eigenvector, and so for lambda two, this will be the same. Okay, and so we, so you can use matrices to represent hyperbolas or ellipses. Um, okay, so let's do an example. Let's say we have the following equation. Okay. Uh, so this is um, an ellipse, basically. This is the equation for an ellipse. Uh, now we will uh, we want to find the axis of the ellipse. Uh, okay, and so we can uh, rewrite that in matrix form. The following way: you take the vector x epsilon transpose. Uh, then, first coordinate, the first coordinate is uh, 1, uh, then you take a half, one, 1 over 2, and here also 1 over 2, and then 1, and then the vector x, y. Okay? If you multiply that, you see that you get um, x, y times uh, x, one half x, one half y, sorry, and y. Okay, and uh, if you multiply that out, you should get uh, your equation back. So let's do that. You will get uh, x times x plus one half times x times y plus uh, one half y times x plus y times y, and so you get uh, your equation back. Okay, so you get x squared plus x y plus y squared, which should be equal to 1, okay? So, uh, this is our matrix. So, uh, yeah. Okay, so the coefficient of t before the x squared and y squared are uh, basically, uh, you take the square root and you put them in the first, uh, the entry, in the entry in the first row, first column, uh, the first entry in the first row, first column, and uh, uh, the last entry in the last row and last column, okay? Uh, and then uh, these elements here, you take uh, half of the coefficients before the x, y, okay? So yeah, well, uh, half of one is one over two. Okay. Uh, so this is our uh, matrix. Now to find the axis, we will find the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this matrix. So if we solve that, 
Um, if you find the determinant of 1 minus lambda 1 over 2, 1 minus lambda 1 over 2, if we find that, we should get um, lambda squared minus 2 lambda um, plus 3 quarters. I think this is correct. And we can factor it. And we get lambda minus 3 over 2 times lambda minus 1 over 2 should equal 0. So our eigenvalues are lambda 1 equals 3 over 2, lambda 2 equals 1 over 2. Okay? Now we can find the eigenvectors. So uh, for our first eigenvalue, that should be equal to the eigenvalues times the vector xy. Um, Uh, I think we can write that in uh, another way. Um, yeah, we can we could also write that minus three over two. Uh, okay. Uh, times x, y should be equal to zero. Okay? And uh, so we can solve that. Um, and uh, we should get first eigenvector uh, will be one, one. And we want a unit eigenvector. So we divide by its length okay so that is for lambda 1 okay we want a unit eigenvector uh, and for v2 if you do the computation should get the uh, sorry this is a 2 here not the one. Uh, 1 over square root of 2 times negative 1 1 okay now, um, uh, the length of the axis will be given by 1 over square root of lambda 1 and 1 over square root of lambda 2, okay? Uh, so we will get um, the square root of 2 over 3 and the square root of 2, okay, if you uh, remember eigenvectors are 3 over 2 and 3 over 2 and 1 half, okay, and uh, the, the axis in vector form uh, basically uh, it will be 1 over square root of lambda times uh, so our unit eigenvectors. So here I divide by its length, but uh, we have we already have a unit eigenvector, so it won't it won't change. But that's the general formula. Okay. Um, and so uh, if lambda one, uh, the first vector form will be 1 over square root of 3 and 1 over square root of 3. And the uh, same thing for the second axis. Here you should get, so it's just computation. Uh, 
you should get that okay uh, and now um, let's just write the matrix with our eigenvectors the matrix with our eigenvectors is given by the following uh, okay and um, now we can find the new x and y coordinates of um, of uh, our ellipse okay um, and so basically the new coordinates let's call them x hat and y hat they will be given by the inverse of the matrix with the eigenvectors um, the inverse of that um, times the old coordinates, coordinates x and y and because now here is the trick because uh, we have already um, we have already unit eigenvectors and the matrix that we used is symmetric okay uh, the unit vector the unit eigenvectors are orthogonal so they form an orthonormal matrix and so the inverse of an orthonormal or orthogonal matrix is its transpose so we can just take the transpose of that thing okay okay because it's a an orthogonal matrix so you get your new coordinates uh, okay so uh, you should get that x hat is equal to 1 over square root of 2 times x plus y and y hat is equal to 1 over square root of 2 y uh, minus x plus y okay and uh, so uh, <clears throat> the equation of an ellipse is um, 1 equals x squared over a squared so, so that's the general equation uh, plus y squared over b squared okay and uh, so remember that our uh, axes are 1 over lambda squared okay and uh, here we will use our new coordinates x hat and y hat so if we, we input our uh, so let's just recall our lambdas they are 3 over 2 and 1 over 2 okay so if you input that uh, you get that 1 is equal to 3 over 2 x hat squared plus 1 half y hat squared okay you know x hat you know how to find x hat and y hat uh, and uh, the coefficients they are basically the axis squared okay and yes, that's how you proceed. So, thanks for watching.